Chapter 2 And the heaven and the earth were finished, and all the host of them. And on the sixth day Elohim finished his work which he had made, and he rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had made. And Elohim blessed the seventh day and set it apart, because that in it he rested from all his work which Elohim in creating had made. These are the generations of the heaven and of the earth when they were created in the day that Yahuwah Elohim made earth and heaven. No shrub of the field was yet in the earth, and no herb of the field had yet sprung up, for Yahuwah Elohim had not caused it to rain upon the earth, and there was not a man to till the earth. But there went up a mist from the earth, and watered the whole face of the earth. Then Yahuwah Elohim formed man of the dust of the earth, and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. And Yahuwah Elohim planted a garden eastward in Eden, and there he put the man whom he had formed. And out of the earth made Yahuwah Elohim to grow every tree that is pleasant to the sight, and good for food the tree of life also in the midst of the garden, and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And a river went out of Eden to water the garden, and from there it was parted, and became four heads. The name of the first is Pishon, that is it which compasses the whole land of Havilah, where there is gold. And the gold of that land is good, there is bdellium and the onyx stone. And the name of the second river is Gihon, the same is it that compasses the whole land of Cush. And the name of the third river is Tigris, that is it which goes toward the east of Assyria. And the fourth river is the Euphrates. And Yahuwah Elohim took the man and put him into the Garden of Eden, to dress it and to keep it. And Yahuwah Elohim commanded the man, saying, of every tree of the garden you may freely eat, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil you shall not eat of it, for in the day that you eat thereof you shall surely die. And Yahuwah Elohim said, It is not good that the man should be alone, I will make him a helpmeet for him. And out of the earth Yahuwah Elohim formed every beast of the field, and every fowl of the air, and brought them unto the man to see what he would call them. And whatsoever the man would call every living creature, that was to be the name thereof. And the man gave names to all cattle, and to the fowl of the air, and to every beast of the field. But for Adam there was not found a help meet for him. And Yahuwah Elohim caused a deep sleep to fall upon the man, and he slept. And he took one of his ribs, and closed up the place with flesh instead thereof. And the rib, which Yahuwah Elohim had taken from the man, made he a woman, and brought her unto the man. And the man said, This is now bone of my bones, and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, because she was taken out of man. Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother, and shall cleave unto his wife, and they shall be one flesh. And they were both naked, the man and his wife, and were not ashamed.' 